What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Martindale. And this week, I am so excited to bring back one of my dear friends, the newly traveled, the newly blonde, the ever elusive... Sean <laughs> Tuesday. <Tuesday. laughs> John Hill, everybody. Yay! Hey. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. What happened to your hair? Oh, well, let's see. I fell in a vat of acid. Fair. And then I became beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, when did this happen? I went through some chaos. Yeah. I was bored. Middle summer, you know, last last year with Kennergy, I was like <sighs> mocking everyone for having blonde hair. And then I was bored this summer. And so I just did it. So you started your own trend and yeah. said, you guys, you basic gays. Yeah. You have your little knuff. You look so gay. Yeah. Yeah. And stupid. And I'm going to do the trend a year later and make it cool. Because then it's new again. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Um, I, I'm going to have tips like you at some point. I'm going to do some streaks, some foils. These are natural. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they look it. I do love a good streak. You know what? I am going through a bit of a crisis, though. Okay. Because. Well, I think you've grown Wagovi. <laughs> I think you're skinny. Why does everyone think I'm on drugs? <laughs> you're on... We're, I actually, it's an intervention. I've had several people say, are you on Wagovi? Are you on Ozempic? I think I think everyone's just, here's the thing. I think it's like the- You promise you're not? I, I very, I'm very promising I am not. What are you on? I am on love and mm. light. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am on Comedy Store Water. I made steaks last night, potatoes. Mm. I had a Yum. salad. I had wine What last kind of potatoes are you making? The little like- um, Scalloped? No, well, I don't know. They're like the little round balls. Al gratin? No. Oh, fingerling? Is that what they are? Round balls? Round ball potatoes. Those oh, one. round ball potatoes. Those I'm sorry. Ones. Yes. Yeah, of course, of yes, course. With the herbs I, and the garlic. They're famous. But I think we're at a point now. <laughs> My favorite kind of potato. Where people are tired of guessing if people are on Ozempic. Right. And now we're just accusing people. Oh, yeah. I, I called you out publicly. No, I'm not on it. I think it's like the new communism <laughs> is Ozempic. Like everyone's like, you're on it. Don't you lie. You better say you are. Look at you what? having a having a nice skinny day over there. What's going on? Liar. What 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 are you doing? What? I'm just being healthy. No, you're not. The, the gig drugs? is up. What drugs you want? <laughs> let me see your stomach. Where let me see your puncture wounds. <laughs> Just, it's just darts across my stomach. I'm on nothing. It's I'm just like, mosquito, uh, just some mosquito bites. That's it. I just, you know, it's summer. They breed in, you know, flower pots, and I they love me. I'm they sweet. breed in WeHo. Um, what is communism? I don't have time for this. <laughs> I was accused of being that, and I had to Google it. Who, and who, I, who, oh, right, you did tell me this. I don't know. So what what did you find when you Googled communism? Well, I Google because I don't think that deeply. I think about men, hot guys, hot dudes, snacks, mm-hmm. and sometimes music and stuff. But what if you could get all of those in the genre of communism? Uh, well, <laughs> thank you because I did AI it. I asked AI, and it said you would love communism. Oh, good. And so now I'm a communist. Um, and no, what's I, going? What's wrong with AI chat? You know right. what I mean? <laughs> I googled it, and so it just. I mean, listen, it's not like, kind of like. Do you, you know, like, you want everybody to have healthcare? Okay, sure. You know? Uh-huh. Then you're a communist. Was Stalin a snack? I don't okay, know. Okay, he was hot. Yeah. She Mussolini was... could get my Bussolini. Bus- I yes. hate you. I hate you. Yep. Uh, um, stop, Bussolini. I actually had a really good time <laughs> getting here today. I'll tell you why. Well, um, maybe you should back up even further about what happened yesterday. Oh, we had the, the power out. Power outage of 2024 happened. I yesterday. showered and did a full fucking face of beat makeup. Mm-hmm. I showed up here, fresh as a daisy, brown out. All of Sunset was out and no one knew how to drive. All no. the lights were out. I was like, here it is. And of course, people are asking me, they're like, is there going to be an earthquake? Does it look That's like I'm I a seismologist? <laughs> Can I detect these things? No. There was an air of disaster in yeah. the air. Yeah, there was. And I was like, okay, let, let us, if I'm going to die, let it be right by like a, Saddle Ranch. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Let the mechanical bull fall on me and kill me. Oh, my God. Well, mechanical bull does play into this because I was driving here, and I had one of those, like, really fun, like, end of summer, early fall. Orgasms. (laughs) (laughs) Not an end of summer, early fall (laughs) orgasm. That's my favorite kind. It's so deep. (laughs) (laughs) It's like from the... From the berry bottom of your balls. 
End Sorry. of summer, early fall. We're done just with communism. Ah. <laughs> um, no, it was a, um, just it was just like the light was right, beautiful, and it was really nice out. We saw wait, there's a billboard for Sabrina Carpenter's short and sweet billboard. It's very like nostalgic, like shows coming up, shows returning because of the fall, it's like, like the new season. school year. It's yeah. giving school supplies, yeah. new outfit. I get the it's a, there's a little touch of new school year in the air. Yeah, a I'm lot here. of like kids like. Friends that we know have like college kids, you know, and ew, I'm like, oh, what did you do? Why did you get married at 17? Yeah. Thank, <laughs> mm, thank God that's not us. Can you imagine having a college age child? I don't want it. I don't want any sort of age child. I don't want anything. And people, and like, I look at them and I look at, you know, the people we went to school with and stuff, and they're like, <sighs> Oh, Last then, first day of school. I'm like, God, just get it out of there already. Yeah, send Ugh. it away. No, but it is. I love a good, like, fall vibe. Me too. I'm, getting... I'm so excited for the fall, mm -hmm. for Halloween. What are you going to be for Halloween? I haven't even gotten there yet. I'm not a big dresser upper. I put on, like, a wig and a diaper. I'm like, I'm this. Yeah, and you're like a uh, Republican senator? What yeah, are you doing? Communist. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a slutty communist. I'm an incontinent, incontinent communist. <laughs> I um, we're probably doing a group costume this year. Oh, you're down for groups? <laughs> no, everybody, well, everybody not knows. that kind of group. But uh -huh. we have a daughter now. We have Freya. Oh, that's right. Are you gonna dress her up? Yeah. Oh, don't do that to her. I did that to my dog for years, and he it, it added so many extra years to his life. That's good though. I put a little sombrero on him for. So oh, long. I will. That's racist. I put a little. <laughs> well, he is Mexican. What is he? He's a Chihuahua. Does he know that? He identifies. Okay, as, as Chihuahua. That. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Does he know about the Baja Blast gelato at Taco Bell? Yes, but he knows it will kill him if he has one lick of it. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the goes for humans too. See, but I think we are going to dress up our dog. We have several options. I have a carry from Sex and the City trench coat I put on him sometimes. Oh, oh just throughout the year? And then I put sometimes like a cashmere cowl neck sweater on him. Mm. Yeah, only when it's hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've got sweaters and stuff, but like, yeah. this is going to be our first, like... Maybe your dog, your daughter could be, go with me, you could be the mom, mm -hmm. and your daughter could be Gypsy Rose Blanchard, and you could wheel her around in a wheelchair and be like, you're sick! <sighs> Act sick! Act sick so we can take you to Disneyland. And beat her up a little bit. You know what I could do? Give her is I could also get, like, syringes and fill it with, like, bone broth Boom. and just be like... Yes. No needle, just... Yeah, at the mouth. Yeah, like, because then we're playing. It's role playing. Right, and then who would Evan be, though? <sighs> oh, The no. next door neighbor, on to you. <sighs> no, or like Chloe Sevigny. <laughs> Chloe Sevigny. Or like, or, uh, uh, <laughs> it could be the, the weird guy who goes to the movie and, like, raw dogs are in the movie theater. He could be the guy that kills you. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> he probably will be. He's like, I'm already thinking about it. <laughs> um, but... It made me think of like my early fall um, shows I'm watching. Oh, what are so, you watching? Well, we'll get into what you're watching. Okay. I just finished Lady in the Lake. Do I want to watch? I, I tried it twice. And it, a five, you tried it twice? Five minutes, I turned it off. I don't want like a period like... It's this 1960s. That's too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I need a 2000, period piece. 2006 and above. And above. Okay. <laughs> well, Byron Bowers is in it. He was a comic uh, here at the oh, store. Yes, of course. And he was also the consulting producer for it. So oh. I'm like, yeah. And his wife... Well, I definitely will watch it. ...directed it. Uh, or a couple episodes. I don't know if she did the whole series, but I loved it. Natalie Portman's in it. <laughs> That's why I started it. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll continue. It's good. There's only like seven episodes based off of a book. The last two episodes, I'm kind of like, where is this going? Mm. But then you just kind of stick through it mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, I loved it. I thought it was great. A little spooky, a little avant-garde, a little surreal. It's a perfect fall show. Mm -hmm. I liked it. And then um, AMC Plus mm. is now on Netflix or they're releasing their shows on Netflix. So I highly recommend Anne Rice's Interview with the Vampire if you haven't seen that. I saw the first episode. The series? Liked it. So good. Yeah. Horny. So good. There's a menage a trois in the air that happens. Mm -hmm. They have sex. That's what I feel. It's floating. like fall. No, in they're flying and having sex in levitating in the air having sex. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. I've watched it. Yeah. Several times. There's a new season. Yeah. Season two. Um, but I also started Mayfair Witches. What's that? The Witches of Mayfair. It's Anne Rice's other book Where? about the witches on Netflix, this? AMC Plus. But however, I'm telling John Hill this, and he's like, Have you watched 
Chimp, what is it called? Chimp Crazy. Chimp Crazy, which is about what? Okay, did you see Tiger King? Yes. Is this the sequel to Tiger King? Just Basically. Same story, same, different animal. <laughs> same director, uh, same weird people. It's about this, you know, in Missouri, it's one of the only places where you can keep exotic animals. There's not many regulations. So it goes through the history of like this dynasty of this woman who had a breeding farm of chimps and like loaned them out to movies and stuff. And mm -hmm. then this other lady who like shovels shit and then she becomes like the Dolly Parton of chimps. And then- What does that I, mean, the Dolly Parton of chimps? Show a picture. She calls herself the Dolly Parton. She gets her lips done, her eyelashes. And to she, look like Dolly Parton. To look like the Dolly Parton of chimps. Oh. She, I don't know. It's it's intense. It's sad, though. I thought it was going to be campy. Like, Tiger King, at the end of the day, is funny because Yeah, you Karen. Yes, he's a meth addict. Oh, yes, he her. has three husbands. Yes, he's gay. He loves Tiger. But you kind of are laughing. Yeah. You're not laughing. You want to laugh, but you're not because this shit, look how cute. This is such a funny, campy poster. Yeah. But- it's actually really, really sad. And then the second episode, my friend was saying, I'm not going to watch that. I already watched the one called Nim about the a chimp that eats the face. Yeah. And I'm like, no, that's not in there. It's it's fully in there. Yeah, and pull up the chimp the, oh. of, the of the face of the... Okay. So one of the episodes is about the chimp that rips off the face. The lady who was on Oprah back in the day. The lady's friend brings him a Elmo doll and it sets him off so hardcore that he rips her face off and eats her. Um... But I mean, upon closer inspection, if I met this guy at the Eagle, I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd do it. That and what's what's the what's that chimp's name? Kenny. Kenny. I think. Kevin. Wait, is that the woman? That's her face now. She looks like a candle. Oh my god, I didn't know she lived. She lived. Oh my god, he ate her eyes too. He ate her eyes and her nose and her jaw. Oh my God, how did she live through that? Wait, is, do you recognize this woman from the dock? <laughs> to be honest, no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> because she didn't have a face in the dock anyway. It's not she my, looks like a candle. It's not my story to tell. I don't like it. She does, but think, yeah. Pumpkin anyway. spice. Ooh, okay, this, no, I don't want... Oh, no. my... Okay, you and I are both from Texas, right? Mm -hmm. We're from the same kind of neighborhood. Did you, did you, did you know that by where I'm from in my countryside of the hick side of town, mm. like worse than where you're from, you're from the nicer part, like fucking country sticks where I'm from. There is a sanctuary for chimps across Bernie Stage Road. Oh, I knew that. And at night, I grew up hearing- You, you howler ah! monkeys? <gasps> and it never occurred to me until I was older that that was really bizarre. Texas was weird. Weird. It was so weird because there was a phase where there was like people it was, were harvesting emus. Do you remember that? Like peacocks there was a, as well. Peacocks, emus, harvesting. llamas. Not harvesting, <laughs> but like yes. reading them. It was very hippie. Like yeah. when we were, I, you know, child of the 80s, 90s. And around that time, it was still kind of like badlands. Like there people mm -hmm. go, like outlaw country. People yeah. go there. There was a cult on my street. You had a the cult street. on your street? Yeah. What a, was their name? Concept Therapy Institute. They went, they they were in our neighborhood. They were on Bernie's Age Road just by like Rudy's. And it was this CTI? random. CTI? They, they had a big triangle and like. I, I love a triangle. When I you see a triangle, a triangle, they're up to no good. I know. Yeah. They're worshiping like all Something. sorts of things. Stones. Yeah. Elders. Runes. Uh, <laughs> rocks. Tea leaves. Yeah. All of it. Yeah, Energy. They crazy. They were, yeah. And they would, they would, um, yeah, like, what's that thing called when you take the wool off the sheep? <laughs> Shear? <laughs> they would take the wool and they would spin it into like clothes and stuff. Well, that's normal. <laughs> I don't think so. It's fucking weird. Cult. I would. That's just them, like being like. <laughs> I would you know. bully those kids. Like, oh, what sheep is that from? Mama. <laughs> that's just <laughs> that's just how people would do make clothes back in the day. Right. Well, yeah. it's not back in the day. You're like, Again, you need you, to shop at the Gap already. <laughs> like, like I mentioned, 19, anything before 1960. Uh -uh. Yeah. Where'd you get that? Not Abercrombie. Yeah. You, who wove that for you? Who wove that? This is just some butter churner. Yeah, yeah. it's just like Quaker society. You're like, this is a cult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no, it was a cult. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Chimp well, crazy. I highly recommend it if you want to be traumatized. The chimp, the chimp doc. Yeah. What is it called? Chimp crazy? Chimp crazy. I don't like it. I'll watch it tonight. <laughs>
I also started watching Sunny with Rashida Jones. Okay. It's about an AI live-in robot in Tokyo with her and her husband dies. It's kind of a mystery. It's actually kind of good. I was annoyed at first and now I'm into it. I watched that instead of your friend's show, which I will now watch. Okay, Lady in the Lake. Lady in the Lake. Mm -hmm. It's good. I was hoping it was more sci-fi. It seems a little like, I don't know. (laughs) Murder mystery? I don't know. Well, we have so much murder mystery this episode. I know. End of summer, early fall. Mm. Mm. Getting ready for ghoulish treats. Oh, I can't wait. Listen up, Just Sayers. I know there are a lot of subscriptions that we're paying for. I mean, we've got an app for everything. We are subscribing to all of the things. Don't get me wrong. I am one of those people. And now there is an app that helps keep you track of those finances. It will let you know if you are subscribed to multiple subscriptions. I know I've been guilty of that. It will let you know when there are upcoming payments due, how much you're making, what your uh, balance is, all of the things you need to know to get your day going with ease so you don't have to stress out about unwanted payments, subscriptions, etc. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills so that, hey, shocker, you can actually grow your savings. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel those unwanted subscriptions today by going to rocketmoney.com slash Saiyan, S-A-Y-I-N. That's rocketmoney.com slash Saiyan, rocketmoney.com slash Saiyan. Start saving. Let's go with Chapel Roan, the bell of the summer. Now, Chapel's had a great summer. I think you were here one of the many times that we were like praising her. We loved her. Love her. H-O-T-T-O-G-O. Did yeah. I not call it was going to be one of the songs of the summer? Everyone was doing it. They're still doing it. Still doing it. Pink Pony Club. Pink Pony Club, I think it's my favorite. It's so good. It's my, it's my favorite. But I can always listen to um, Good Luck Babe. Oh, yeah. as Such The whole jam. album's great. Wait, backing up, not yeah. to go out of order, but you did mention Sabrina Carpenter Short and Sweet, and I went to Erewhon and I got the $23 Sabrina Carpenter the blue Short one? and Sweet smoothie, dark blue. Yeah. Tastes like dirt. Dirt with a side of worms. Like RFK Jr.'s brain. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like dirt with a side of worms. Yeah, like earthy? Healthy, healthy earthy. Oh. Yeah. And one berry. Yeah. And some yogurt. That's it. Does that make you want it? <laughs> well, I mean, did you like take the lid off and go, please, please, please. No, but I, I need something else. <laughs> <laughs> it ma- I did like the taste. Okay, well, that's good. Do you know that song? Mm-hmm. It's my favorite song in the album. The song called Taste? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's so good. (laughs) I know the song. It's so good. I haven't heard the whole album, but we'll see. Anyway, Chapel. Uh, So she's living her moment. However, she's got rules. She has rules. This is an article from TMZ, and it says, Quit touching me and shouting my real name. And her real name, I don't want to dead name anyone, but it's what? (laughs) Kaylee? It's not her dead name. (laughs) She says, Chapel just responded to some of the blowback she's been getting from her recent message, telling some of her people to chill. She says that ain't happening. The situation is serious, and so is her message to back off. Chapel says she loves her fans and always wants her shows to feel like a safe community. However, just because you're a fan who loves her doesn't mean she owes you anything anything when she's not performing. So she's issuing a new warning to those who creep her out. The Good Luck Babe singer made headlines this week with a video rant against fan admiration that crosses the line. And Friday night, she added to her manifesto with more specifics about the kind of behavior that has her on edge. Um, Some of those are, let's see, can we go down? I saw this video and she was like, this is bullshit. Like you're stalking, you're attacking, you're assaulting me. Well, I th- I think that like the, expl- the explanation of what she's saying is like she rose to fame so quickly. It was like just a matter of like from April to July she became the biggest. Yeah. And I'm sure it was overwhelming and like remember like fan culture is really scary. Fan culture's terrifying. Like, and they do this thing where if if you don't if you're not Engaging overly enough, overly nice. Yeah. They turn on you, yes, and you become that bitch, that, that stupid fucking, bitch. Oh, that, How dare you? That I nasty. gave you everything, right? Yeah. And like you're terrible. She's terrible. Oh, she's a bitch. Don't go to her show. And that's not fair. No, because 
That well, being said, I don't think that she necessarily has to go this far as to be like, this is stupid. Here's the thing. Yes. So she said on uh, IG, I've been in too many non-consensual physical and social interactions and I just need to lay it out and remind you women don't owe you shit. I chose this career path because I love music and art and honoring my inner child. I do not accept harassment of any kind because I chose this path, nor do I deserve it. Awesome. Mm. However... I, I hate these kind of posts. I know. I don't like it either. I'm like, okay, so you don't want you don't want the attention, but I've got to lay it out there. But then you're doing what you hate doing. I don't know. I think you could achieve what she wants from this, which is to establish some boundaries. Yes. You could achieve that without putting it because if you put yourself out here like this it does sound a little bit like fuck you well right but also and you have any, to, you do have to give a little bit of like I'm, I'm, your this, I'm putting this out there yeah. like please ignore and even we'll, if you're fake just be like I, yes. it's all for the fans it's, it's all, all for, for the you. fans and then I you love do you your guys. boundary yes but also I feel like yes you're putting it out there but that's the the tricky part about fame is like just putting it out there because then you're gonna have people being like, "Well, I'm gonna show this bitch," right? You know, and then you get these weirdos. Like, I mean, yes. You know, I was in a very public feud last year, and <laughs> still, one year later, right? To this day, yeah, people are still like, "I'm like, move the fuck on with your life." Like, it's so, it's so annoying. Even just a little edit, like maybe don't put the. I chose this career path to honor my inner child. You're 24. I would say. I, I would say I don't know you shit. I'd I'd scratch that one. <laughs> I'd scratch I don't know that you one. Shit. I don't know you shit. Which yes, you don't. You don't. But right. also, when you're telling people that, then they're gonna be like, "Yes, you do." Or you owe me shit. <laughs> You know, I came here for your shit. I came here for your shit. You're gonna give me that shit. Yeah, yeah. You and, owe me shit. But I also agree with the whole like not saying her real name. Like, okay. you know what I mean? You agree with not like, like okay. There's Chapel Roan, right? But did Gaga ever say like my name's not actually Stephanie? She's like, nah. It's I mean, whatever. Like, why? Don't get mad. It makes people want to like make fun of you even more if you're like, don't call me Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me McKinsley. Don't call me McKinley. Like, that sounds like a girl who doesn't want to be the, like, white brat that she is and yeah. wants to be cooler. And it's like, Don't call me Kaylee. But if you saw... And that's Bratty. Stephanie. Yeah. Germanata. Spinning around in her rarely seen $22 million Malibu home. <laughs> teasing us with dropping her whole album. Which I would love. Mm -hmm. Burnett. Would you say... Stephanie! Would no. You, would you, you? I would scream gaga. Yeah. But there's somebody <laughs> out there who'd be like, watch this. Hey, Steph. Daddy! You dumb. <laughs> remember when you were just a dumb bitch? Yeah. You remember when you <laughs> said you don't owe us shit? Well, look now. You do. Like, everyone owes everybody shit. We all owe everyone shit. Everyone I, owes everybody I shit. I literally do owe everyone shit. Lee, I owe, do I, I owe you shit? What do I owe you? Just tell me how much how much shit do I owe you? I'll send you an invoice. Okay, great. You're gonna send me a shitty invoice. I owe the IRS some shit. Shit. I owe them ten thousand shits. Ten thousand turds. Plus. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> this episode of the Just Saying Podcast was brought to you in part by the IRS. <laughs> by the <laughs> by the audit I'm about to get. <laughs> and I try and pay it, but you. Sh anyway, keep going. Don't I don't owe you shit. You don't owe me <laughs> shit. I'm just gonna send the IRS a video of Chapel Rowan saying I don't owe you shit. Yeah. I'm like, love me. You know, you know what love Kaylee. people love right now is a good meme. Especially the IRS. Yeah, they love a good meme. Oh my They're god. Like, oh, I, I sent the IRS that um chimp ripping the woman's face off. They died. Good. <laughs> well, did the woman too? I don't know. She's apparently still alive. Well, uh, let's see if By the way, we're not making fun of the injured woman from the chimp. No. <laughs> I have to just make sure people no, know that. that would be bananas. I am processing the trauma it was to just watch it. <laughs> Shut up. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> I do want a little monkey baby, though. My Monkey Baby on TLC, that was the best show ever made. Have you ever seen that? My Monkey Baby? Who is naming these shows? My Monkey Baby, My Husband's Not Gay, Milf <laughs> Manor, and uh, Mama's. Bo I'm Not a Mama's Boy. Those are real shows. Real fucking shows. Full season. Yeah. Is my husband not gay? Like, it's a classic. every episode's different. It's the same group of men in Utah. They're Mormon and they identify. They're married. Uh huh. Always. They're straight and they identify, but they're honest. They're upfront about suffering from SSA, same sex attraction. They're not gay. Oh. 
They just but work at a hair salon and are married have, to a Greek woman named Angie. And it's their wife. It's them and their wives processing, like going through life. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, he suffers from SSA. Okay, we're going to this basketball game. Like he's gonna look at the guys because he has SSA. <gasps> and he's like, it is kind of hard not to look because I do have SSA. <laughs> How old is this series? It's like 2013, maybe. Shit. Okay. No, I had to buy it for forty dollars off you YouTube. It? It's hard to find, but I had to see it. Are any of them hot? No. I mean... Are they all like... I would. Well, we know. We, we pulled up a picture of a monkey. Like, <laughs> you do the murderous chimp. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I would. Murder me. Rip my face off. Uh, well, that's not being very demure. And speaking of demure... Oh, gosh. R.I.P. this trend. <laughs> Talk about... What- <laughs> Here we have Julie Caliente. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> no, this is Jules Lebron. Jules Lebron! This is the creator of the viral trend that was demure, mindful, teaching everyone to be a little mannerly, a little bit, um, you know. Another trend that... Just went. Crested. I mean, that's the thing. Enjoy it, kids. Enjoy the hawk tua. Enjoy the demure, mindful. Hawk tua... It never, I saw it happening from over here and mm-hmm. I was like, if you even try to get close to me, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll have my boyfriend slash chimp attack your face. Yeah. Like I had nothing to do with that. No one did. Want, and, and fuck all, I hated it. Yeah. Every fucking second of it. I mean, we're counting down the days for campaign to campaign five to be out the door. <sighs> what do you think? I do have time for that because I, well. What? Look I, at you. You're blushing. I am blushing. Look at you. I am blushing. I know. I campaign. He's like, hey, y'all. I'm just like, well, oh. can't believe it's so funny. I'm sitting at this table. <laughs> when did when did Instagram turn into Craigslist misconnections? Oh, my God. That's the most brilliant thing I've ever heard. It's true. Yeah. I've noticed it. There was a guy named Kevin. He's got two kids. He's like, I'm just looking for a, my girls want me to find a wife. And then he's doing all the trends. We have the little lesbian. He's like, baby girl, I just oh, want. I know. I love her. I know. But oh my God, that's now we're, we're doing that now. Everyone's looking for love, looking for a, a wife, a boyfriend, whatever. I'm just putting it out on Instagram. Maybe that's and what I'm doing wrong. I should just start doing don't, that. I will never, I will never let you do that. <laughs> I, am, I care about you. You're my friend. I'm never letting you be like, hey guys. Oh my God. I give you the right though to absolutely call me and say, delete that. If I do anything bad. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Like if I show too much, like. I mean, you can thirst trap. I do a little thirst trap, but I don't want to let, but if it ever goes to a point where you're embarrassed for me, tell me. Are we already there? Are we already there? <laughs> Are you, are we? You can say it. Oh my God. No, we're fine. We are there. Oh my God, you're embarrassed. You're embarrassed for me. No, I'm not. Oh my God, you are. You look great. That's not the point. (laughs) You're very demure. You're very mindful. Like Jewel. It doesn't sound like it. Now you're blushing. No, 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 no. You can tell me. No, yours is just like shirt and like, yeah, no. I'm not going to show like butt or bush. You're not wearing like a mesh, you know. Mm, I have one. I mean, that's fine. But I mean, like, I think... People should um, create separate accounts. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. I think there needs to be like, here's what, you know, my parents and my right, my elder right, cousins right. and stuff are going to see. And then this is what my slutty strangers are going to see. <sighs> right. Yeah. I'm or, too lazy. You're very good about the close friends. Right. I yeah. do like to do a close yes. friends. I, I'll be like, oh, here's a green star and there's John's hole. Perfect. I don't put hole. No, but I... I <laughs> I do get in trouble because I don't. I don't do enough. I, only, only, only fans, only friends, close friends is for snarky. Yeah, for saying stuff you don't want everyone to know that you hate. Like mm-hmm. I'll, like I'll post, um, like boyfriends who have too many children, or mm. like a boyfriend account, mm-hmm. and they're doing too much DIY and mm-hmm. like bragging about their kid. Like shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm, see, I'm, I'm happy that you're making money off of these props. I mean, children, but. I don't need to see it. I'm also just like, just show it to us already. I'm bored. Show like, hole. I don't like being teased. I'm just like, let's see it. Okay. Right. Done. Yeah. I do want to see hole. Mm. See, like, but I'm like, you know what I mean? I do. Like, just, okay, we get it. You're shirtless in every picture. Just let, let, let us see it. Take okay. It Moving on. I know. Collect that twelve ninety nine. Done. Link tree. All right. Well, so wait, someone stole this? Yes. So Jules is sobbing. Because somebody has filed the trademark to demure and mindful now. That's fucking mean. I'm on the fence with this. Okay. Because uh, she's upset 
um, because someone else filed this trademark first, posting a now deleted vid video bawling their eyes out. The viral social media star shared a TikTok, barely capturing their face while they lay in bed, choking out, choking out, choking out. How they felt they'd invested so much time into their social media presence for nothing. I did it all for nothing. I don't owe you shit. <laughs> um, so she said, I wanted to do this for my family and provide for my transition. And I just feel like I dropped the ball. <sighs> Not the words the I would use when you're speaking about transitioning. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> really dropped the ball. Both of them? I know. Yeah, like, wow, that's such a bummer. But, like, how would she have known? Like, it happened, it became Here's viral. The and thing. then, like, she's a regular person. Like, she works yes. retail, right? So, like, she's not a trademark lawyer. Like, maybe it's not in her. It, it wouldn't be in my, my first thought would not be like, oh my God, I must call my trademark attorney. But there's people like that. I That's know why I'm are. on the fence with it because when something starts popping off, it's their whole job. Someone's like, "I gotta get on there. I gotta, I gotta trademark Demure." I mean, usually it's Chris Jenner, but this right. time, it, I mean, it's not. Um, but also, can she partner with that person and be like, "Give me a yes part. and no"? Um, I mean, there's people who buy domain names. Like, I'm exactly. sure there's already like people already like. Doing like Trump defeats Harris and vice versa. Harris mm. defeats Trump dot org. Like people get those domain names. So when the I don't owe you shit dot com. Yeah. No dot org. <laughs> dot net. Dot edu. Dot edu. <laughs> I just <laughs> bought them all. You did? Yeah. yeah Lee's like on yeah. it. Lee, I don't know you shit. <laughs> I have a question for you. Yes. So I the difference between this and Hawk Tua. Uh huh. So. Mm. Hawk Tua immediately had like a team of yeah. lawyers and managers and to try to capitalize on her mm -hmm. viral sensation. Mm -hmm. But this, you know, this girl had nothing. Right. You know why? Because Hawk Tua girl is a straight cis white woman. Yes. I have advice for Jules. You keep doing it. Keep doing Don't it. Don't stop it, Demure. I'll help you. You want to hit me up, Jules? Get on here. Jules I'm gonna is give a star. you some I'm gonna give you some similes. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mediocre. Oh. Meh. M meh. <laughs> Mid. I would say, let's see, what's some similes to, to demure? Um, soft. Soft. Elegant. 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 Um, Classy. Provocative. Eh, provocative's not really one. No, not um, to demure. Gen <coughs> genteel. Genteel. Modest. Modest. Coy. Supple, sensible, um, yeah, backward. There's plenty. Be a little sheepish. Oh, be a little, yeah. You love to shear and wove, wove in your own clothes. <laughs> yeah. So there's tons. I say keep going. I think this kind of popped this trend just because a lot of people don't know the word demure because they were not classically right. trained in the theater of arts. Thank you. Like some of us. Yeah. So they're like, what's demure mean? And now they know. And they're like, oh, but I'm going to be a little more mindful. Also, Jules, it's not always about the trademark. You know, just keep doing it. Don't be upset. Keep going. Just keep going. Does this mean that this, she can't even put it on a t-shirt? He owns that? Yes. I don't. Yeah. That is so mean. But also it's not. Let her have it, bitch. It's not. Disney. I, there are some very demure and mindful things going on at Disney. But I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like, like, I feel like Disney merch is so Disney merch. And then you have like all these like weird Amazon shirts and stuff that like, right. there's like legal teams and stuff. But I guess if you bought the trademark for it, just come up with another word. Yeah. And She's call that person out and then get the trademark. Yeah. Mediocre and coy. Go for it. I want 10% jewels uh, of that, uh, Maybe I revenue. should do that. I'll just start trademarking other people's shit. Yeah. But they don't owe you shit, John. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, uh, my, uh, uh, just saying. No. Dot online. Uh, when I got my website, John Hill, it's not johnhill.com. The only thing that was left was johnhill.online. <gasps> but that's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Well, I did say with Shane Douglas yesterday, uh, I was like, oh, this week I have John Hill. And Shane was like, oh, just saying with John Hill. And I was like, uh, don't come for my show. Uh, <laughs> wink, wink, bitch. <laughs> Um, well, this happened yesterday, and oh, this God. came out of nowhere. And I don't want to, like, flip the tables and make this sad, but I do think we need to talk about it because we are currently in end of summer, early fall, which means 
Mariah Carey is thawing out. Yeah, she is. Right? It's not quite time. It's not. Definitely not quite time. But it's about to be. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. It's coming. It's coming. I usually say September 1st is like the proper... Mm. We take it out of the uh, <laughs> bunker. Yeah. Dust it off. Dust it off and let it just sit in the sun and drip. You know? <laughs> and I'm talking about Mariah Carey. Now, Mariah <laughs> Carey has came out of nowhere yesterday and said that her mother and her sister have both died on the same day over the weekend. Chimp attack. <sighs> <laughs> what happened? I'm serious. This makes me so sad. Was it a chimp attack? What happened? Malaria? Brownout? <laughs> the the fact that I really want it to be a chimp attack right now <laughs> make, makes makes me unwell. She would really rally so yeah. much action, actually. Like we would have changes made to the Missouri state law. If oh. a chimp attack it kills this this lady who still is alive, apparently. <laughs> Jim, I will be here. All I want for Christmas is my face All back. I want for Chimmas. <laughs> then a chimp comes along <laughs> with the strength to rip yeah. my jaw off. <laughs> Y'all can't ever show this to anybody. Yeah, you hear that? You hear it? Wait. I'm in trouble. You hear the boom, ding, 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 <laughs> Wait, this is actually bad. We're getting in trouble. People a what? Can, people can think we're making fun of Mariah Carey's tragedy. No, we're just intertwining stories. That's and right. That's where comedy comes from. Okay, good. Okay. Don't come for me. My heart is broken <laughs> that I've lost my mother this past what? weekend. Sadly, in a tragic turn of events, my sister lost her life on the same day. She tells what? People Magazine, I feel blessed that I was able to spend the last week with my mom before she passed. I appreciate everyone's love and support and respect for my privacy during this impossible time. No other details, including the mom or the uh, the mom is Patricia, the uh, sister's Allison. Causes of death are known at this time. Patricia was previously married to uh, Alfred Roy Carey, was a Juilliard-trained opera singer and vocal coach before the couple welcomed Allison, Mariah, and her and son Morgan. The parents later divorced when the hero singer was three years old. So Mariah's relationship with her mother, from whom her vocal talents were inherited, was complicated throughout her life. I read the book. You did? Mm -hmm. I bet the sales of the book are like skyrocketing. It's they. It was a rough relationship, and her sister, both of them. It was, I, I, I'm paraphrasing, but it seemed. I seem to remember a lot of like, um, they were mean to her, mm -hmm. and then when she became rich, they were like, "That's the mom. Give me where's my money?" And and she, they made her like pay subsidize their lives. Yeah, mm -hmm. like they demanded money from her. Like, oh well, you're famous now, so where's my money? Well, I mean, the mom definitely in this picture alone is definitely giving like flowers my, in the attic. She's giving where's my money? Yeah, yeah. So, but RIP. You know what? I'm very sad about this. I almost posted a thing in my Instagram, but I didn't want to seem like I was coming across as like, you know, insincere. But mm. this is like, I need details. Yeah. Because I feel like true crime is flooding everything. How does your mom and your sister die on the same day? And not like, it's one thing to be like, they died on the same day in the same car in a crash. Tragically, like, yeah. That's, um, yeah, I'm curious. I'm very, very curious. I feel, I feel very bad, obviously. I, but again, we don't know the relationship of the mother and the sister. She said her relationship with her mother was very tumultuous. She said her relationship with Allison was also quite complex. The star yeah. wrote in her memoir that it was at least at the time emotionally and physically safer for me to not have any contact. So yeah. it seems like she hasn't had any contact they uh, they repaired it for a while, I yeah. think. I bet this is dark. I think so too. I think there was also because I read it three years ago or two years ago. Like I think there was drugs moments mm -hmm. happening too. It sounds like yeah. that. It sounds like But look at how Mariah is just a shining surprise. Yeah. I mean Mariah's Everything. I was going to say killing it, but then that would just, oh. I can't say that. Mm. But, um, I mean, she's a mom. She's doing it. She's doing it. I honestly did not, and I'm not trying to sound insincere about this. I honestly, she never really mentions like her mom or her sister. I, I had no idea she even had like a brother. Yeah. I always just thought Mariah was just Mariah. It was just her and Debra. Her and Debra. <laughs> she, yeah, yeah, yeah. She just came out of a seashell and she's like, ah, yeah, yeah. like that was it. Every holiday, just her and Debra sharing a turkey leg. <sighs> Well, 
We'll, I'm sure we'll find more on this story as the weeks go by. Okay. But let's talk about this. Alicia Silverstone, America's favorite vegan. Is she vegan? Yes. Yeah, she's like crazy vegan, right? Will the champ eat your face? Yes. yes. Alicia Silverstone's vegan. Yeah, so she um, apparently munched on a poison berry. Of all the things to do in the UK, mm -hmm. you're going to go to someone's bush, take a fruit, and test it out? Like, why not just go to Buckingham Palace? I don't know. Sounds like you in P-Town. What? <laughs> Talk about poisonous. <laughs> I just chance at someone's bush just eating fruit. Yeah. Uh, uh, Y'all go ahead. Y'all see the, where the pilgrims landed. I'm going to eat these nuts off this bush <laughs> that aren't mine. I'm going to test them out, see if I die. Yeah. I'm going to eat as much nut until I can kill myself. Yeah, you're going to play your favorite game, Is yeah. There a God? Yeah. Yeah. Russian roulette with these With, nuts. Yeah. So she said, um, <laughs> she did confirm that she is alive and well. Don't worry. I didn't swallow. Uh, oh, gosh. Come on. Share. She is winky, literally winky. the but, but, Polaroid of perfection. So she chewed it yeah, and so, spit it out. Yes. She munched on this. I guess someone identified this as a poisonous berry. So she was... I love that everyone's like, she was clueless. <laughs> Revealing in a TikTok clip Monday, she had no idea what the orange berry was that she just picked up from a random bush in someone's yard during her latest UK adventure. Um, she then puts it into her mouth. She questions it. And then she said, wait, wait, sorry. I, I didn't read that. It was okay. Well, a vegan though, like, it, you know, she was probably desperate for nutrition because in the UK, what are you going to eat? Like bangers and mash, spotted dick, haggis, sheep intestine filled with lamb. Yes, cod. God. Yeah. So she cod. probably was like, oh my God, something I can't eat. Yeah, It'll kill like, me, that's fine. Finally, sustenance. Yeah. And it looks like a, a like a hot cheetah with teeth. Um, Alicia <laughs> admitted she'd already taken a bite to figure out it wasn't a cherry tomato. I'm sorry, you thought that was a cherry tomato? That bright orange honey. cancerous. Honey. But gave it another chomp on camera saying it kind of tasted like a pepper. Um, so this is realizing it probably should not be consumed by a human. Alicia gave fans a close up of the berry, which they quickly identified <laughs> as a Jerusalem cherry, warning her it was so poisonous it could be deadly. Now, the internet overreacted. I did some reading on this, and Jerusalem cherry probably won't kill you, mm -hmm. it might just give you the trots well, vomiting, diarrhea, drowsiness, <laughs> hallucinations, and heart issues. Well, I don't... So, I mean, there was... I have four of, out of the five. <laughs> at, <laughs> right at this, now? At this moment. <laughs> right now. <laughs> so, uh, no official word yet on how she's doing, but she posted a clip on IG saying, she's alive, but don't munch on random fruit from other people's bushes yeah, no if you shit. can't ID them. The rest them. of us don't need that warning. No one does that. <laughs> Oh, here's a tip, guys. Don't eat shit that's not yours from a bush you don't know. You know who does that? My dog. Yeah. My dog does that. I don't even think my dog would do it. My dog would piss all over it. My dog. And then I'm, Alicia Silverstone would come eat it. Oh, yeah. She's Alicia's just, like, you're, gonna, you're not, you're not going to eat that pitted thing? Yeah, she's a piss-eating... My dog puts those, like... <laughs> slot. Does your dog eat poop? Um, he, as a puppy, went through a poop eating phase, but um, it was only every so often. And now, now, no, he's he's off. He's he's um, in recovery and sober from eating shit. Do you eat shit? I relapse on eating shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't owe you shit. Um, <laughs> you owe me shit because uh, I want to eat it. My dog, thank God, <laughs> has never done the poop eating phase. Thank God. Yeah, but I think my dog ate it because he's so smart. I think he accidentally shit in the house once, and then he was like, "Oh my, God, I don't want him to see," so he just like ate it. <laughs> but then I was like, "I can tell you shit," and then he felt bad. He never did it again. God, dogs are weird. I know. I love them, though. It was National Dog Day, though, yesterday. Um, my dog will eat the little, like, orange circle, like those orange balls that are on the sidewalk. They're like fruits. They look like... Loquats. They look like... Kumquats. They look like that. And they have, like, seeds yes, in them. Yes, yes. But she won't, thank God, she won't swallow them. Those she are just, edible. They are? Yeah. Okay, because... The God big forbid. Balls? The big balls? They're like orange balls, yeah. And they, like, fall in groups. <laughs> and she'll hold she'll hold them in her mouth. She'll hold? She'll hold hold <laughs> them in her mouth. Oh my god. And she won't and then when I get she's home, she'll spit them all out so I can give her a treat. She's That's like, weird. She's like, look what I brought you. And I'm like, Frida. That must be something in her breeding. I know. Genetics. Because my to... dog is trained is it's his in his breeding to to be attached to me at all uh -huh. times. Because 
little chihuahuas were were um, genetically modified and engineered to be like hot water bottles for the sick. And so he's always just like on me. He can't not be touching my, my body. Touch my body. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> well, speaking of touching the body, <laughs> Haley Bieber had a baby and this baby's clinging on to her body. Much what? like your chihuahua, Haley Bieber had a baby. But what do you mean clinging onto her body? Well, she has a baby now. So that's what babies do. They cling onto their moms when they're born. But like it left her body. Allegedly. Oh yes, my God. It did leave her body. But it's not like attached. No, no, no. Like she had a baby. She didn't have a conjoined baby. No. Okay. Oh, I wish. I know. Have you seen Alien Romulus? Not yet. Are you into that? What? The aliens coming out of the chest? Just aliens in general. I don't want to like, say Oh, else. like the franchise? Uh huh. Yeah. You have to go ASAP. I've seen it twice. Really? Is it because of the long tube that goes down the person's throat? That's the least of what I'm into. I saw that in the trailer and I was like, Argh. that's uh, where he pulls off the face hugger and it's like, uh, uh, that's walking. No. That's uh, compared to what else happens in that movie. That is walk in the park material. What else happens? Can you tease? Uh, uh, Does Haley Bieber have a baby? Y- basically, <laughs> basically, and it won't leave her body, or it will leave her body. But out the I don't, vagine. I don't something comes you. out the vagine. Does something come out the vagine? I'm not Look saying. at me. Something comes out the vagine. Doesn't it? Something. Do we have a cooch burster? <laughs> we have a chest burster and now we have a cooch buster. Is that what happens? Is it like <laughs> coming out? I'm not saying anything. Okay. But well, you have to go. Okay. I want to see you see it. I went with I went back with my friends. I wanted to see her see what I had seen. Okay. And it was Take worth that, it. it ends with us. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you Blake Lively, it. get out of here. Well, so what happened to her baby? She had a baby. So now these two are parents. We knew this day would come. Everyone in the media is saying, oh, congrats on the new baby, baby, baby. Oh, because everyone is what? Mediocre. Um, they named it, what did they name they it? They named the baby Jack Blues Bieber. Named after that- his dad, Jeremy Jack Bieber. Oh, you don't mm-hmm. like it? Well, hold on. Who's why is this? Jer- oh, Justin's real name is Jeremy Jack. No, his dad's name is Jeremy Jack, and he's <sighs> that sounds like a porn name. Jeremy Jack Bieber. Yeah, that's Jeremy a, Jack. That's a, that's a gooner. Can you explain to our listeners what gooners are? Gooners is a community of people who masturbate all day long and they edge themselves into a state of psychosis. And don't come for me. Yes, I know that psychosis is a psychiatric diagnosis and it's not to be mocked. I'm not mocking it. I'm just telling you that gooners get there. Gooners get there. Gooners get. But but they don't get there, actually. That's the whole point. So they you edge don't... themselves all day? For hours and days at a time. So they're unemployed. <laughs> well, they're employed because they goon on OnlyFans. They make millions of dollars. Oh, so it's a business. The oh, business yeah, of Goon. Yeah, bi- there's a whole eco structure. Can I just say not community? <laughs> community. It's a community of it, people. It is a community. <laughs> a communist community a communist of Gooners. Community. Yeah. So they're on OnlyFans and they just edge themselves all day. They edge and they talk to it while they're edging. And they're like, look at my penis. <laughs> <laughs> and they just talk. Do they sound like they, that? They sound worse than that. And people pay money for this. Yeah. With that voice. Uh, it's that. <laughs> oh, that's why it's called goon, because they sound like goons. They go like this, they go, uh, they lose their sense of decorum and yeah. no social constructs. What's weird about that is that that's how Haley Bieber sounded in labor. <laughs> that's her, her baby came out like, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> So they had the baby. Oh. Um, they, of course, put a... Li- wonder, uh, does she milk smoothie? Does yeah. she just, like, eject smoothie out of her tits? I will say, that smoothie... Fucking good. So good. It's a milkshake. It's delicious. It's better than the Grimace milkshake. Ooh, I never had that. <laughs> I never had that. Speaking of goon... It's good. Grimace was a the goon. The original gooner. Yeah. <laughs> Grimace was a gooner. Goon. He was, like, a purple thing yeah. just standing around... Yeah, psycho- psychosising. Just, like, I think I think he might have been cross-eyed because yes. he was gooning all the time. And, like, mouth open, like, uh... <laughs> and now he has a milkshake that That's... your kids are like... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Define gooning more appropriately. You can't. Yeah. Mm. Um. So, congrats to them. Um, I'm happy about, you know, whatever. Yeah, good for her. Congrats to Ben Affleck for finally being freed. This finally happened. I, 
what the fuck is going on? I don't care. Why'd they even get back? To, like, I was not one of these people who was like, oh my God, love wins. No one fuck was. all these people, No man. one was. Look at this. Look at this. This is just a couple. Look at, where, do you know where this picture is? It's Outside right. of LACMA. LACMA. By the tar, this is the tar pits. The tar pits. How symbolic that J-Lo and Ben had a picture outside of the La Brea tar pits. If that doesn't say something, I don't know what does. So they're finalizing their divorce. I live by the tar pits. I mean, that tracks. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I, I... John Hill lives by the tar pits. And I will never live anywhere else. Thank if your you. city does not have a tar pit... I'm, I'm not, not coming. There. I'm moving there. <laughs> um, so Jennifer Lopez cited irreconcilable differences as the reason for her split because she's lazy after two years of marriage. So mind you, she filed for divorce on the day of their anniversary during Virgo season. This is sick. This is sick. She's ill. 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 A monster. Mind you, our first clip that we had of this show that went crazy viral, Heather Morris was on this show. Uh-huh. And she's telling us the story about oh, how J-Lo yeah. walked into the dance studio and was like, if you're a Virgo, get out. Mm -hmm. And she made all the Virgos leave the dance studio. Crazy viral, that clip. Now, this happens. She's divorcing Ben Affleck during Virgo season on their second anniversary after all this speculation. Ben Affleck seems to be doing Fine. Fine. He's, Relieved. He's he just bought a house um in she I want to say Bel Air. Mm. It's like a it's like a um a horse, like equestrian style oh. themed <laughs> like barn house. A barn house. You know what I mean? Perfect, it's got like a barn. Perfect for the freshly divorced. Freshly divorced. It Live looks in a gorgeous. Barn. He just bought a new house. Um, so she filed for divorce. On their anniversary, which I'm like, that's petty as shit. She says she was tired of being, I'm just tired of being humiliated by Ben. And she waited until the two-year anniversary because she just, she wanted it to sting. Humiliated. Because girls from the Bronx like when it stings. What was she, humili how did he humiliate her? She's the one who went on 10 fucking vacations and left him here to eat Carl's Jr. all day. Yeah, you threw your own Bridgerton party, yeah. loser. <laughs> <laughs> also... He did you a favor by being in that awful movie that you directed that you thought was going to be Oscar-nominated, Oscar-worthy. He dressed up as, like, some Fox News correspondent because of you. I'm sure you didn't get paid for that, J-Lo. This is me now. Ugh, the worst thing. If you have not seen this movie, just take a mushroom and sit. That's it. Ben Affleck, dead in the eyes. His soul's been sucked. I think, much like his back tattoo, this will be a phoenix rising from the ashes. From the back ashes. <laughs> <laughs> the back fat ashes. <laughs> a phoenix rising from the back fat. We're going to have a <laughs> renaissance of Ben Affleck. Yeah. Because this... Because well, he's also about to be that age where... Because he, he's been hot leading man, and now he's right... Like, the rubber band's about to snap, and you're old. Like, it happens you to think? all of them. He's about to be, like, hot old actor. Like it George Clooney? Yeah. It, it's going to happen. Like, he's he's about to be... I'm telling you, in, in one or two years, he's going to be like, oh, that's that old guy who is, like, hot. Ooh. Yeah. And she's still going to be that, younger than she's me. She's still going to be that woman who takes pictures like that. Uh, talk about gooning. That's a gooning face. J Lo's a gooner. Uh, I hate that face. I love it. Every picture. I love it. Ugh. It's a, it's like you're you're. It's like someone's blowing a fan with menthol vapor. Yes. And you go. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. It's you're, like someone's blowing. Yeah. Like the windows are up. And they're blowing like a icy, Wind. yes. But it but it smells like dip, like chew. Yeah, like mouth dip. And <laughs> you're you, like, you know about those little packets that kids are chewing skull. now? Skull. No, Z Z Z Y N Zin. Oh yeah, Bert, Bert Kreischer chews those. Yeah. Yeah, I read kids are putting them up their butt. Kids are putting anything up their butt. They sure are. Yeah, anything. If like, have you seen? Okay. Chapel Rowan is putting everything up her butt. Well, I mean, but she, but she doesn't know her shit. She didn't. She didn't know her. We don't know her shit. Yeah. Um. Butt chugging. Butt chugging. Remember butt tampons. Zin. 
I mean, um, but tampons, I mean, no alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. Yeah, infused tampons. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Have you seen the cucumber kid? I don't know if I want to see that. What is that? And I'm not, he's not like a kid. I think he's like 20. He's in his 20s. <laughs> but, I, you know, he's a kid. He's yeah. we're, we're old. You know, I'm like, ah, kid. Yeah, yeah. The person. It's this kid who makes cucumber recipes. Oh, maybe I And have. he adds like shit to the cucumbers. And I'm like, we've been doing that for years. Oh, that's everything on TikTok. Yeah, but he's like, sometimes you just need a good cucumber. And I'm like, oh, God, here we go. Oh, so one day you know we're going to find something. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm not ready. I'm going to trademark that. Have y'all heard of cucumbers.com? I'm going to take it. I'm sure there's a cucumber.com. Cucumber mm. kid. No, not that Aww. one. No, it's just say cucumber TikTok kid. Cucumbers, much like J-Lo, are sick. Ill. I love a cucumber. Mm-mm. Nope, that's Mm-mm. not him. No. Nope. Cucumber boy, I see. Okay. Cucum- that guy. Oh, this one, it's this like Troy Sivan. Yeah. And mix, it looks like Robin. It's a little bit Robin, a little bit of Troy Savon. It's a little Timothy Chalamet and Robin had a baby. The guy that makes cucumbers, yeah. But look, sometimes This is just... one of those things. This is like one of those, not to be conspiracy theorists, but this is one of those things that's not about what you think. It's about like, you know how those videos of the women who put everything in it, they're like, and then we're going to put these beans and then this corn and then this cheese and this ground pork. They make these weird recipes and you're like, this is not real. It's hand fetish. People are... It's so guys can jerk off looking at their hands, assorting. It's not even about the recipe or the shit they're putting in. How do you know this? I read it somewhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but every video starts the same. This is like hair, like bleached hair, like twink fetish. I'm telling you. Because who get that's not a real fucking recipe. He's putting crap in a bowl. That's what I'm saying. I'm watching this and that's I'm like. That's raw fish. Is that fish? Yeah, he smoked salmon. Bitch, get away from cheese. me. Capers. Now listen, actually, avocado. I might like this. Salt and pepper. It actually looks kind of good. I, I want it. Oh wow! Who's if, gooning now? If she puts this shit on it a, he puts the lid bagel? on and then just shakes it up. But he does different recipes. But I'm also like, this is just a cucumber salad. Now I want. My it. mom used to do this because we were poor growing up. <laughs> oh, I want that. Like she'd be like, oh, we're having a salad. I'm like, this is just cucumbers with like sesame oil and like soy sauce. I want it. Now I'm I'm a convert. See? Yeah. TikTok it, made you do it. Yep, I see what you're saying though. I want it. That yep. tastes so that looks like it tastes so good. Oh god. That's a huge dick. <laughs> <laughs> a cucumber. But see, we used to do this oh, as a my kid. G- this is called fucking around and oh my god. Finding out. <laughs> wow, horse rad. No, that's the Japanese mayonnaise. Oh my God, more fish. This yeah. kid loves raw fish. Well, this is the... He does like a cod salad. He'll do... He adds MSG. That's MSG. Wow, the roller coaster of disgusting to delicious is so rapid. Yeah. It's happening yeah. so fast. Because at first you're like, gross. Fuck and then you're you. like, oh. Give it to me. Yeah. Die. Now I want it. Now I want it. Yep. Perfectly. Co- so where am I going to get one of those? Like, I get like go to the Chinese food restaurant and get a takeout quart container and just shake whatever I want. Yeah. You just get the cucumbers and then you put like Come. your essential ingredients. <laughs> Some would not pick that ingredient first, but uh, placenta. like a, a delicious s- placenta salad. Soy sauce, tatsiki. Oh. I would make like Mexican like cucumbre. <gasps> That's a, good, a taco bowl. A taco bowl. Uh-huh. I would do like uh like um chamoy like mm, mm, yes yeah, speak more mm-hmm. speak on lime it. lime uh, pepper yep 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 wow so yeah that's the trend why i don't know I where think, we went i don't know how we got to why didn't i guy. think of this why didn't i think wow i should just do something that is absolutely worthless yeah. and become famous from it well, well I, speaking of something completely worthless oh, who's famous my god <laughs> oh, i can't i can't Katy perry uh did you know she was in west hollywood the other night I, my friend sent this to me and was like, such a shocking at how far she has fallen so quickly. You think, so you went that route. What do you mean? I, I think performing at Beaches. I've never even heard of Beaches. Well, it was Heart. Oh, Heart's gone? Heart's gone. And now it's Beaches Tropicana. No. And Beaches is still Beaches across the street. Hunty. And Heart is now Beaches Tropicana. I'm going to fucking throw up. <laughs> And when I do, all the cucumbers I've eaten in my life are going to come flying out of my fucking bussy hole. I hate you. This is so stupid. For the listener, this is, these are bars in WeHo. <laughs> the thing... 
<laughs> the thing that we hate about West Hollywood is that nothing lasts. And nothing makes sense. Nothing makes you sense. You just told me that one bar is yes. now across the street and has the same name it has twice. Has the same name twice. <laughs> but different. <laughs> but different. Mind you, Pump is no longer Pump, but now Tom Tom is becoming Pump. Did you know that? If there is a chimp in proximity to this building, rip my face off now. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I, I well, give you permission. I give you my full consent to rip my face off and eat my nose. Unconditionally. <laughs> okay. Talking about Katy Perry's music, though. Yes. Yes, that woman's. I'm a woman empowerment with like made by the woman assaulter, alleged. Um, oh, who? It, Dr. Luke. Uh huh. That can go get fucked. Yeah. But I kind of like the other one. Lifetime. Yeah, I got it. I know. I'm the same way. It's, hate- it's going to be a global hit. You, like, you know that no one in like, you go to Ibiza, they're not going, oh, I wonder who produced this. I wonder if she's saying this at beaches. They're going, this is give it. me more Coke. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I feel like I'm finally at that moment with Catherine Elizabeth Perry <sighs> where I can say, give me more Coke. But let's give check it first more- for fentanyl. Yeah, like, um, do it to a test strip. So she is dropping her new album, and she popped into West Hollywood, rocking a revealing snakeskin print for a very crowd-pleasing performance. Who did, how, did, where did they find the people to pay to come to this? Who did I, they pay to, who did they pay to come to it? What do you mean? These are not people who actually give a shit about her. No, these aren't people. These are influencers. That's AI, oh. Yeah. That's, That's all worse. the people. Yeah, no. These are like people who are like, they have followers. They get to go to these things to like record her. You're telling to, me that all every, these are, every influencers are not real people. You're telling me every loser that I'm looking at in this video is an influencer? Probably so, yeah. What's an influencer? I then? will say this I watched this video and every person in that group is now knows dead. <laughs> the lyrics to that woman's world song. I couldn't tell you the, the, the lyrics to that song. But I fully enjoyed the Teenage Dream tour. I saw it twice. I, I loved it. Yeah. I went backstage. I met her. I love. I love yeah. her. I think she's fun. She's goofy. She's campy. But the, there's this she thing take of like self too seriously. Oh, everyone hates my song. That's cool. I'm just gonna like go make sure the gays know still love me. So I'm just gonna go to beaches and mm-hmm. just like parade around in this snakeskin thong. Mm-hmm. And like you're a you're a grown ass woman. Mm-hmm. I also want to know how this works. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. How did she get to, like, how do they get to, how are they like, hey, Katie, come to Beaches Tropicana? I'm telling you, they people, they said to them, like, wow, we really, what's, in, like, you're nowhere if the gays are not wet for you. And so they're like, well, shit, damage control. We, we, we just go, I live in Weeho, I'm queen. Gays love me. Yeah. They looked, look, last Friday night, it was so hilarious. I'm basically a physical yeah. comedian. I should have been on SNL. I'm so funny. <sighs> Kill me. Bad. Kill the me. Short hair with the backpack kid. Never and forget. Like, um, so let's go. I want to go down. So this a little is bit just on this like article. this is not. This is like the most non-gay thing I've ever seen in my life. Yes, you're in WeHo. Yes, you're at a gay bar. Yes, there's people you paid to be there pretending to know your songs. But this is the most non-gay thing I've ever seen. Well, they, this she, is not cool to gay people. Well, she did say that uh, the first single, "Women's World," isn't lighting the world on fire. She brushed that off on stage. She then goes on to say that, right here, she said, flaunting her rock hard abs in a micro mini, she busted out her old reliable hits, Teenage Dream, I Kissed a Girl, California Girls, to get the crowd pumped. As we reported, Katie's also catching some flack for Lifetimes, which is the second single from the new album. I know all about this one. What? The Spanish Dunes? I just found this out. The Spanish government claims she shot the music video on a protected beach. Yeah. Katie's denied that and says she got full permission from the proper authorities. (gasps) Uh, So wait. I watched the video when I Uh read this. I watched it and then I realized... I kept watching it because I was into the song so much. I, I watched it like five times. Yeah, she's like in a beast. So it's like, it doesn't... It looks good. What it's the like, fuck do I know? They could have gone to the Gulf of Mexico and shot this at Port Aranzas or Corpus Christi. What the fuck? I, I don't, love does, a Port Aransas beach shot. Right? But here's the thing. 143, so, which stands for I Love You, which, uh, okay, that's the name of her album. What? 143. What does that mean? I Love You. What do you mean that stands for I Love You? One... L O V E. No, 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 no. That is not correct. That is so stupid. Who made that up? Katy Perry. No, no, no. That's not catchy. That's not cute. That's stupid. It's Katy Perry. They could have thought of something better. That's, look, that's like old AIM days. It's right. Go down, go no, down. Old AIM days is when you type on the Texas insurance look. calculator and you put 8008 five boobs. 143 is an old 90s pager code for I love you. 
Says no one that had a pager in the 90s. I had a pager in the 90s. That was not a code. What was the code for I love you? I didn't love anyone. No one loved me. <laughs> no one loved me. Um, Clearly. Here's here's the... Uh, oh, so we'll see if Katie's fans for two. Ew. That mean love her? Love. St Why are you doing math? Don't make me do math. I don't I'm know. Old. What is four two? Four threes love you. Four two. Love me. Love I love. I don't know <laughs> these kids today. L I swear. I you know you what? Know, I will they say, should bring back Cytag. C i t a g. That was bitch. That was bitch. Cytag. Cytag was so fun. Cytag.com. Let's trademark that. Hey, let's get on it. Yeah. Move over, uh, demure. Because like you get to the point where you don't want to punch bitch twelve like punches, so you just mm -hmm. send your friend Cytag. Mm -hmm. Also, I want to say this. Um, it, it was a protected beach that she was on? Mm, yeah. What does that mean? So she can't shoot there? Protected from pop stars who want to shit on it. Because no. they owe you shit. She does owe us shit. Honestly, <laughs> Chapel Roan, you don't owe us shit. Katy Perry, you owe me a lot of shit. I'm giving Katy Perry the leeway because every <laughs> end of summer, early fall, mm. you get one banger yeah. that should have been a summer hit. And you think it's Lifetime? But it came too late right at the end of the fall. Such songs include... <clears throat> Taste by Sabrina Carpenter. Which one? Taste by Sabrina Carpenter. Is that late? It's now. It just came out. Yeah. But I'm going to say this one's kind of better than that one. I, I don't agree, but I'll keep, keep going. Perry keep going, it. keep going. I'm going to let her get it. Bang, bang. That was the late one. Okay. With uh, sure. With Ariana. All of them. All of them. Jesse J. Jesse J. Nicki Minaj. Yeah. All of them. All that of was them. like a big, that could have been a big bang, summer bang anthem. Into the came out at the very end of the summer. So, yeah. Katie, we're going to let you have lifetimes. Congratulations. You know what Katy Perry song I still think is one of her best, if not the best. You're so gay and you don't even like boys. <laughs> can we sing that one now? That's problematic. Probably. Yeah, well, we can sing it. Okay. Um, Just because I live in a look at someone with never think it's someone never to come in again. <laughs> you know Are you song? okay? <laughs> Nothing what seizure. happened? Just because it's over doesn't mean it's over. Oh, just because it's over doesn't mean it's over. Just because it's over doesn't mean it's over. Just because it's over doesn't mean What a great melody. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just one. Does it, it's, really it's like a woodpecker gooning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good song. Yeah, though. I love it. My favorite meme ever is someone frying an egg, and the, there's a little slit mm. in the in the white part, and it's mm. going, and they put that song to it, so it's just the eggs. Going, yes. <laughs> Singing that song reminds me of those like uh, bass mouth things. Yeah. Remember those singing yeah, bass yeah, fish? Course. They have one now for, Rosie O'Donnell love for Trump. Sure. Now, uh, well, we're going to change your view on that because now we have an Australian woman who is who has now been caught engaging in a sex act with a trout. A brown trout. How now, brown trout? How now, brown trout? <laughs> this woman has been uh, charged after engaging in a sex act with a trout. It was all caught on video. Show it. To us. No, that will you'll like go to jail. If you watch it? I don't know. I don't want anything. Everything's on video now. I don't want anything crossing my desk that has anything to do with a bestiality. Oh, is it? A, I guess it is. Yeah, she's she got in jail for bestiality. I forget that fish are like real. Uh, <laughs> just ask the cucumber guy. He's spending a lot of fucking fish in that jar. Oh. Fish are real. Fish are animals. I know, but I forget sometimes. Uh, right. Well, because they're not really, they don't seem sentient yeah. because they don't like have a whole lot of personality. Don't come for me if you have an aquarium. But what happened with that trout is like, was that was the trout eventually used in a cucumber jar? Right. With, you know. Can, <laughs> just like between us girls, did she shove it up her vagina? How do you have sex with a trout? Alien Romulus, you tell me. Oh, well, thank you. Good point, because now I can picture it. Okay. Well, this woman... Did she strap on? <laughs> I, I I don't want to know. She said uh, she has been arrested uh, on two counts for making or reproducing a bestiality product during the same period between 2022 and 2023. In the video, Lee is seen lying on a boat. Mm. And Savannah appears to use a live trout to perform a sexual act on her.
No. Naturally, the video has led to some serious <laughs> outrage online and has even prompted police investigations. This is disgusting. I cannot wrap my head around it. That poor fish, why would anyone do that to themselves or to another animal? It doesn't make sense. I could see if they're on a boat and you're with your no, wife. No, John, and wrong. she's naked and you have wrong a fish. Again. And you do, you're like, and you just like, are like, I'm going to put this fish in your pussy. And then she's like, oh, get that away from me. Like that I could see happening. Or was it full fucking? <laughs> I mean... I feel like once you go there, there's no coming back. You know what I mean? I've never had the inclination to have sex with food or an animal. Never. or And barely really people any are just other people. People are just weird now. Um, bass to mouth. Bass to bass. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. While the comments all seem to be very, everyone seems to be in agreement, this is disgusting. It's what it takes for everyone to unite and come together. Apparently it's sad and that's what it took to unite the internet, that everyone was in agreement that this was atrocious. Don't fuck with cats. Don't fuck a fish. And if a chimp... Rips your face off, marry it. You ask for it. <laughs> um... Ugh, okay, now we finally have Drew Barrymore. I refuse to watch this shit. Drew Barrymore show? No. Why? Are you watching this show? Oh, I mean, I know people love her. I love her. I loved her. I've, I loved her in Poison Ivy. She was so wonderful in that role. Mm -hmm. um, loved her in. Charlie she was Jones. not Poison Ivy. She was Sugar. In Poison Ivy. Oh. I'm thinking of Batman oh, no, she forever. Was, she was in sugar. like a slutty movie called Poison, Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy where she was like the teacher, the Lolita. No, she was like a high school age yeah, girl who I'm fucked sorry. her yes, she was, Yeah, she was like the, yeah, the naughty bad girl. It was yeah. like the, the the comeback of her career was yeah. Poison Ivy, yes. Anyway, I the show seems like something I do not want to put my eyes on. Yeah. You'd rather trout? I'd rather goon out for four, trout. four days and goon out with trout. Goon with goon so out with your trout out. Well, Drew's saying, I'm going to keep my hands to myself when my talk show returns. Well, and I say good for her because she's very handsy. Lately, there's a lot of memes. She's like grabbing Oprah. She's, you know, headbutting Ross. She's doing all of it. Yeah. Um, touching people, groping, not groping, but like, you know, putting her arms around them and getting on the floor, sitting in their lap. It's just like, I don't like to be touched like that. I don't that. either. So if you, f I have secondary, like, yikes mm -hmm. when I see that. Because I'm, I don't judge, whatever. Be the affectionate person you are. But like, if that were me, I would say, get away from me mm -hmm. before I whip my trout out and fuck you with it. <laughs> but also it's like, if you're, like, if I was Oprah, I'd be like, okay. Thank you. Like, get, we're not going to do right. that, Drew. Uh-uh. No. Because, like, if no one was watching, would you still be behaving like that? And the answer to me is probably no. No. Like, you're doing that because you're acting. You want to act affected and, like, so overwhelmed. Like, but if no one's watching, you'd be like, hey, girl, what's up? Yeah. So it just seems fake as fuck. She says she's trying to practice physical distancing. I know. Good for her. I know. I know. So she's saying she's trying to keep her hands to herself. Um, Drew's talk show actually started back in 2020, which I totally forgot. We're like, she's going on her sixth season, which I'm like, I'm how? Sorry, is that a dog? Is yeah. that a dog's paw? Uh huh. All right. Uh huh. Yep. So Take your shoes off the couch too. Like, I just think if you're inside with you're walking around New York City with those clod <gasps> hoppers on. No, she's putting the shoes on in the studio. I don't care. You're yeah. you're sending a message that it's okay to do that behavior. Mm. And it's not. Mm -hmm. No, no shoes mm -hmm. on the couch. No shoes on any sort of furniture. Yeah. Agreed. All right. We have time for a couple more stories. Oh Dolce and Gabbana has launched a hundred dollar dog perfume inspired by the owner's poodle. Kind of here for it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana's luxury perfume for dogs uh, has sparked concerns from several animal welfare organizations. The Italian House, uh, it's an alcohol-free fragrance mist for dogs, which costs 83 pounds, 105 in the U.S., is inspired by Fefe, the pet dog of brand owner Domenico Dolce. Dolce. The scent blends fresh and delicate notes of ylang ylang, musk, and sandalwood and comes in a green lacquered glass bottle with a 24 karat gold plated paw on it. Uh, fefe can be applied directly to a dog's body, avoiding the nose area, or sprayed onto a pet owner's hands and then brushed or rubbed into the dog's fur. 
My? It's been suitable. It's been certified as suitable for animal use by the Safe Pet Cosmetics Program. However, the fragrance has drawn some concern from animal welfare organizations and experts who warn that the perfumes can interfere with the dog's sense of smell. Yeah, it's they're basically that's how they see things. They our version of seeing and touching, like they have that with the smell. But like, does your dog do this? I know your dog is busy gargling balls, but um. My Just like her father. <laughs> but my dog does, like like every dog, they want, <laughs> they smell something fucking, like if they Rancid. that freshly fucked trout on yeah. the street, they would find it and they would, they would want to get that smell on them because it's camouflaged. Because if they smell bad, they think, oh, I won't be seen. It's like a natural instinct. So my dog is always like, he finds like one like dead bug or something and he's always, he does that oh, thing. Oh, rolling in he it. He wants to like really get it in there. Ew. My dog wants to smell like poop, pee, and trash. Oh. He doesn't want to smell like ylang ylang. My dog dog wants to smell like ylang You want your dog to smell like ylang ylang. <laughs> Frida Pepita smells like white jasmine musk and clean laundry. Is it going to appreciate, is your dog going to appreciate the fefe? We'll find out because I just ordered a bottle. You did not. <laughs> Did you really? I know, but I want to. I'll make you we some dog do. perform. I'll charge you eight fifty bucks. <laughs> we have, we do have a dog uh, perfume at home. Poopery? For, it's not poopery. No, oh, but poopery. it is. But it is a it's it is a little green bottle. I'll show it. To you. I'll take a picture of it and I'll send it to you when I get home. What cologne did you wear in high school? I mean, let me guess. Okay, Dracar Noir. No. Why not? Because I did. I was not that person. Uh, <laughs> cool water. Ish. <laughs> You're getting close. Woods Abercrombie and Fitch. No, bitch. Mm -mm. Um. Just think of me. <laughs> What's my vibe? You're Ob so close. Obsession? No. Is it a Calvin Klein? Yes. CK1? Mm, yes, but that was later. <laughs> the first, the OG. Um, Electric Youth by Tiffany. No. <laughs> by Debbie Gibson. No, what was that? No. <laughs> Exclamation. No. That was a women's perfume. I know. No. Um, You said think about you. Okay, give me a hint. Chrissy Tarlington. Eternity? Yes. Okay. No, that's so classy. Yeah. That's great. It was Eternity. Yeah, by Eternity. Mm -hmm. That was mine. I was Trout by Dolce & Gabbana. <laughs> Trout. <laughs> Trout by Dolce & Gabbana. Raw, Ooh. fresh. I think that says dead. a lot. What were you? Were you like, you were Abercrombie and Fitch. I was Dracar Noir for like middle school. Mm. And then I graduated to Cool Water, like sophomore. Fair. Junior. The and gateway. then Woods Abercrombie. And then when I got to college, it was Fierce. Abercrombie, Fierce. Remember that shit? When I got to college, it was um, Issey Miyake. Oh, uh, classy. I know. Now I just wear Aesop. They have a perfume? What? Oh. They have so many. Oh, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a, um, I can't even remember the name of it because it's very exclusive. It was at a pop-up at the Grove and the last day was when I got my cologne. Oh my God. And they disappeared forever. I wonder what Katy Perry would think of that. I think Katy, Katy Perry wears sunflowers. Oh. Yeah. Unconditionally. All right, we have time for one more story. Okay. Record-breaking 102-year-old Scott Evers shares secrets to longevity. Don't forget to party. You know what? I'm not even going to read the rest of the story. Every time some old-ass bitch comes out and is like, I just eat bacon and grease and tequila. We get like, it. Fuck you. No, but also, like, go. Go. Yeah. Her name is Manette. What? <laughs> Manette? Her name, not Nanette, Manette. 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 Mm. Bailey, Bailey from Bailey. England celebrated. Damn, being, imagine being born a hundred years ago. hundred years ago. That was what? A hundred, uh, 1924? I can't do, Matt. You asked me to do 143 means I love you. I can't add this kind of shit. Well, if, yeah. she, if she's 102, then it would be 1922. Thank you. See, smart people. Yeah. 1922. That's so, that sounds so long ago. But I mean, it really wasn't. But it's not a TV show I would ever watch set in that time period. I mean, Titanic sank. Yeah, it fucking did. I wonder so, if she was... 1920s, it was like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, flappers and flapper. Spanish flu. I hate a flapper. <laughs> <laughs> that, that bitch, she didn't have TV. No, she didn't have TV. Imagine seeing... She had tuberculosis. She had rocks and a doll, and then all of a sudden, TV, phones, movies, Katy Perry. Like, how your brain <laughs> is that order. exploding. Yeah, so now she's like, hell, I want to jump out of a Get plane. Get me out of here. She's trying to die. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I love those videos when they, like, go up parachute. to, like, 105-year-old people. They're like, what do you want for your birthday? She's like, to sleep eternally. And you're like, get it, bitch. <laughs> like, that's, you know... 
And this woman is just jumping out of an wow. jumping out of an airplane on her hundredth birthday. Um, Have you ever done that? No, I no, did it. I, did I would never. Once. I'm sorry. This was 102. She's jumping out of a plane for her hundredth. She raced a Ferrari and reached 130 miles per hour. Okay, she's a whore. She wants it. Yeah, she's horny. I say go for it. I yeah. say do it. Jump out of that plane. You know what? 104. I'm gonna dare this bitch. I'm gonna challenge her. Go to Beaches Tropicana. On Santa Monica Boulevard. The same outfit. Stand in line. Yeah. Yeah. Manette raised money for three charities in her local community, including the East Anglian Air Ambulance, who saved her son's life in 1969. Good for her. Party on. 69. Live a little. See, we just need to take advice from our elders, not yeah. take everything so seriously. I know. And live life. Because, like, as a 27-year-old, th- mm-hmm. it's hard to, like, same. see, like, very far in the future because I'm mm-hmm. so young. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't even imagine myself past 30. Oh, I need you to dream big. Yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to live day by day at the present want, moment. This is, like, such a good thing for, like, kids to see. Because I feel like kids and, like, young people now, they just... Yeah. They don't care. It seems pretty bleak, I will say. Like, like they're not doing anything. Like, what are they doing for fun? I don't what think... What do they, they do doing, for fun? They're saying, we don't drink. We don't want as much sex in movies. I think they're sitting at home scrolling the phone. Yeah. And fucking trout. And I love, and I love that a woman of, of a certain age, 102... 102. Can jump out of a plane and be like, take notes, bitch. Meow, 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 meow. And she's like, you, down there, I see you spending all your time <clears throat> cutting up cucumbers. Yeah, do something. Jump get out o- of a plane. Get off your ass and live your life. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, she's gorgeous. I love her. I love her too. Well, John, that's been our episode. I did love- you have fun? I did. This is the most fun I've ever had here. Yeah. I just feel like I'm worried that I said something that will get me in trouble. You did. Okay. Several things. And we will cut those ass clips. And you can, <laughs> no. Tell everyone where they can find you, what you've got going on. Are you going back on the road? What are I you am. doing? Oh my God. Come see me in Philly, September 8th, uh, New York, October 6th, Palm Springs, September 20th. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. All over. Go to John Arthur Hill on my Instagram. Go to my link tree. Go to my um, Patreon if you want to see half of my butt cheek. Yes. And yeah. I'm doing I'm doing your show uh, first week in September yes, on Radio please. Andy. Make sure to listen to the, the John, John Hill, Hill show. show. The John Hill Show Tuesdays live every Tuesday at 8 a.m. Yes. And Dallas, I will be uh, at the Big Laugh Comedy uh, Club September 6th and 7th. I believe it's in Fort Worth. Tickets are at biglaughcomedy.com. I've got four shows there, two Friday, two Saturday. Please come. It's going to be so much fun. And then that's uh, a lot of shows, huh? That's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's gonna be a fun time in Fort Worth. I, do, I only do one offs. I'm very excited. Nice. Very very excited. Are you going back to Austin? You said uh, maybe in the fall. We'll okay. see. We'll see. But thank you again for listening. Thank you for subscribing. We will see you next time here on the Just Saying Podcast. You guys have a great week. Bye. <laughs>